Hi, I'm Mark from Billsby. Let's take a look at how to use our advanced checkout button functionality to direct customers to specific products, plans and cycles rather than to the checkout homepage. This video assumes that you've already configured your products, plans and cycles in Billsby and you're already well versed with how to put a basic checkout button on your website. In fact, we'll modify an existing basic checkout button with styling already applied for this tutorial. There's other help available if you need to figure out basic checkout buttons. Let's start by directing customers to a specific product. First, go to the checkout button you want to modify and get ready to edit the code. We're doing this with a website built with Squarespace, but just go to the code editing view in your website builder of choice. Next, navigate to Settings Embed Codes in Billsby. You're going to want to scroll about halfway down the page and open the tool that says Look up Product, Plan and Cycle IDs. Then, choose your product from the drop-down. Notice the button code provided has a new variable, Data Billsby Product, with a corresponding product ID. Let's copy just this part and add it to our existing button code after the existing Data Billsby Type variable. Let's save the button and give it a try. You'll see the customer is now directed straight to the product you chose. Now, let's dig deeper and direct the customer to a plan. Back on the Billsby Embed Code page, we can choose a plan using the same tool as we did before. There's another new variable, Data Billsby Plan. So let's copy just this part and add it to our existing button code after the product variable we put in before. Again, save the button, and when you try it, you'll see the customer is now directed straight to the plan. Finally, let's direct the customer to a specific cycle. Returning to the Billsby Embed Code page one last time, we can choose a cycle from the final drop-down in the tool. You'll see a third new variable, Data Billsby Cycle. Copy just this part and add it to the code again, this time after the plan variable we used. When we save the button and try it a third time, the customer skips product selection altogether. Remember, you can have as many buttons on your page as you'd like, and you can give them all different names and styling. This means you can create your own custom pricing pages or tables and direct your customer to the right plan. If you need any help with this, start by consulting the Embed Codes page in your Billsby account, which has all the details and code samples that you can use. Or, for more help, choose the Help and Docs menu where you'll find lots of documentation. For help with custom code, start with our community. By asking a question there, you'll get help both from other customers and the Billsby team. But for now, you're all set. I hope this guide helped you figure out some of our advanced checkout button functionality and wish you the best of luck growing your subscription business with Billsby.